Welcome back to Primetime News and a special welcome once again to those of you watching on OneSpotMedia.com. Up first this evening, the Caribbean Examinations Council, CXC, has appointed an independent team to review complaints over the council's grading system. It comes after widespread dissatisfaction with the exam grades among students across the region. Kalisha Williams has that story. Since the exam grades were released last week, the calls have gotten louder for them to be reviewed. Teachers, students, and parents alike have pointed to inconsistencies with the exam results. And it's not unique to Jamaica. Guyana, Trinidad, Barbados, and St. Lucia have all expressed concerns. On Monday, the closest indication yet that students could get some redress. In a statement to stakeholders, Chairman of the Examination Council, Professor Sir Hilary Beckles, said an independent review team will shortly begin work and present a report for discussion with relevant stakeholders. Sir Hilary pointed out that it was anticipated that given the challenges of the pandemic, a possible review and revision would have to be conducted in keeping with the Council's regulations. Meanwhile, Sir Hilary says the CXC's registrar, Dr. Wayne Wesley, and his team have met with regional education ministers. As for addressing individual concerns, he pointed out that there will be ongoing dialogue with the regional government to ventilate all the issues. And each formally reported case will be reviewed and fixed where necessary. So far, Sir Hillary said CXC is satisfied that governments across the regions have received explanations for its position. However, he acknowledged that there may be policy and technical issues within the council which need to be urgently addressed. Last week, a petition demanding review of CXC and CAPE results was signed by more than 15,000 students outside Jamaica. Kalisha Williams, TVJ News. In the meantime, the National Secondary Students Council is challenging CXC's claim that discrepancies with CSEC and CAPE grades are being exaggerated. Public Relations Officer for the Council, Rihanna Robinson, says she has seen instances where students received similar profiles but different grades. A student sent in some of uh, their results and one had a ABC profile for a one and the same ABC profile with a three. So these things, the inconsistencies there don't really make much sense to the students, especially the fact that they'll be going into the same higher grade. Even some teachers have explained to us as well that their students are going in with 100% as a group IA. And one student has come up with a one, the other student has come up with a four, the other student has come up with a five. Meanwhile, the CXC registrar, Dr. Wayne Wesley, says the internal assessment is just one factor in determining a candidate's grade. And secondly, the IA grade received by any student <clears throat> is not the final grade because of the moderation exercise. Uh, so those are not the final grade. There is also the multiple choice component. 